Hello and welcome to this demonstration of freeform shape creation with Autodesk Inventor 2016. For the next several minutes, we're going to highlight a workflow that will show you how Briggs Automotive Company creates a cockpit for the Mono, which is customized specifically for the individual driver. The new improvements to the freeform modeling environment, when used in combination with existing surface and solid modeling tools, enable users to quickly and easily create complex shapes that long ago would have taken a significant amount of time. Surface conversion tools empower users, enabling them to extract surface slabs from existing surface data. In this case, the lumbar and leg support pads, which were created from scans of the driver's backside. Merge functionality is used to join a pair of slabs together into a single freeform body, which then facilitates more powerful editing capabilities. Subdivision is a good example of this, giving users the ability to change patch density in uniform or non-uniform patterns, and thereby allowing for more refined mesh manipulation. Edge matching functionality is used to fit the edge of the freeform body to existing model edges, or as we see here, sketch data, which in this case was extracted from surrounding geometry in the cockpit. Symmetry commands such as mirror can be used to enforce symmetry across a selected plane. Once enabled, any changes made to one side of a freeform body are reflected on the other, giving you more power to focus on design instead of how to create the design. Bridge is used to join a pair of existing freeform bodies, inserting a specified number of body patches and blending the new segments with the existing body curvature. Edit Form provides users with a suite of body modification tools to enable translation, rotation, and scaling of body vertices, edges, and faces. When any of these body entities are manipulated, curvature continuity is maintained across the body, and changes are reflected across planes of symmetry if defined. Soft modification provides further refinement, enabling users to utilize any one of a number of geometric pattern types for distributing modification influence across the body. Here, a combination of these processes are used to ensure that the new freeform body does not intrude into the envelopes defined by the existing lumbar and leg support pads. As was previously mentioned, when symmetry is enabled, changes to the body are mirrored across those symmetry planes. As you can see, when these faces are selected, the mirrored pair highlight and reflect the changes made on the opposite side of the body. Symmetry may also be enabled or disabled at will, and the planes of symmetry may be repositioned at any time. At this point, we need to increase the height of the lumbar support itself, as well as modify its position. Edit Form enables this change to be made quickly and easily with translation to be defined via axis or plane. And finally, a few more face position modifications to ensure that the new seat tub geometry matches the existing pads as closely as possible. With the existing tub geometry enabled, it's time to use Match Edge one more time. This will help us to ensure that the new freeform body matches the curvature of the existing geometry as closely as possible. Once the body edges are selected, target body edges are picked, and the curvature continuity is used to maintain the existing rate of curvature change and blend seamlessly with the target body. Position and tangent blending is also available. Finally, surface trim is used to project a sketch for the harness cutouts to either side of the new tub and remove geometry from those areas selected. Autodesk Inventor 2016 brings powerful new capabilities to the creation of complex shapes with the new freeform modeling tools giving users the ease of use previously unheard of and is certainly the future of making things.